Welcome to this special episode of the NNI podcast to discuss participants' reactions to the Nano for Earth kickoff workshop. I'm Brandon Bruff, director of the National Nanotechnology Coordination Office and your host for today. So first, what is Nano for Earth? So Nano for Earth is a celebration of what nanotechnology has done to build a technological foundation, but also a broader foundation looking at workforce development, looking at entrepreneurial opportunities to build technology resources that we can apply to climate change. This was introduced on October 9th, which is National Nanotechnology Day, by the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy and the National Nanotechnology Initiative. On January 24th and 25th of 2023, we hosted a kickoff workshop for the Nano for Earth Challenge, and more than 400 people, ranging from academia, government, industry, nonprofits, Anyone interested in either nanotechnology or climate change participated in this event. And we've brought together a really outstanding panel of people who are there. We have Victoria Stefano, who's a science and technology advisor at the Department of Energy Office of Science, Barra Cola, who's the founder and CEO of Carbice, with a background in mechanical engineering and material science at Georgia Tech. Marielle Kolker, a physics high school teacher an educational consultant in STEM, and Jeff Miller, Science Program Officer of Nanoscience at the Kavli Foundation. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you for joining us at the workshop and, and during this podcast. Just to start off, I would like to ask you about yourself and how you became interested in participating in this workshop. Maybe, Victoria, you could kick us off. Yeah, happy to. My background is actually in geochemistry, but I've always been interested in energy issues, specifically the science underpinning energy issues. And this workshop really spoke to me because it's basically where earth science, energy science, and kind of that basic science of nanotechnology come together to help solve the problems of the future. So that's why I was encouraged to attend this workshop. And I'm glad I got to go. I learned a lot. That's outstanding. Bara. You, you obviously have a, a different background coming with a different perspective. What brought you to this meeting? Sure. My background has always been in energy and thermal management related to nanomaterials. So when I heard about the workshop, it made a lot of sense. And it was something that, you know, I've, I've been excited to participate in conversations around the subject. So yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, people know that I always talk about everything as interfaces and that's kind of been my, my focus, you know, especially with energy transfer. And I think that even though it's not something that's like the sexiest thing that people talk about, but it's there always. Um, and so, you know, I like to focus on the boring things that are important. And I, yeah, this is a great community to be a part of. Mariel. So my name is Mariel Colker, and I, um, I teach physics in Morristown, New Jersey. I'm also a mechanical engineer by degree, and I, I wrote a course called Nanoscale Science and Engineering based on some work that I did at Stevens Institute. And so I teach students, this is maybe my eighth year, teaching students about science at the nanoscale. And they're endlessly fascinated by it. And, and I'm still experimenting with how to get them engaged in the uh, UN Sustainable Development Goals and in climate change activism. They just really don't know, uh, like they, do, they get no information in high school about what research is at the university level. And it's really important that they learn it. it was, educational for me to be at this conference. I'm still trying to figure out ways to bring that back to my students. Fantastic. Jeff. Yes, hi. So the Cavalry Foundation has four science areas we focus on. Nanoscience is one of them. Within nanoscience, we have a strategy to look at nanoscience for sustainability, which is almost 100% overlap with this conference. And I was glad to be there. 